very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so just as usual we just wanted to share with you our results so far for this week on the premium group and yesterday actually on Monday we had really great day with the euro AUD hitting a total of 120 pips of profit on take profit level 3 NZ is NZD CHF hitting 30 pips of profit uh, euro NZD only hitting the uh, 15 pips of loss only so it was really controlled and under it was under control however Tuesday uh, was somehow a break even day because we had two losses on the euro AUD and the AUD CAD uh, so we were able to recover the losses from the trade of the euro USD plus some good profit from the USD CHF thankfully our members are really happy for the results they sent today look at that it was only on Tuesday he sent us this message and th these are these members are really so happy with these results and these uh, signals so for that again I'm really so glad and very proud of what we are doing in extreme trader premium group and hopefully we will do uh, we will keep doing that to be exceptional and do and to hopefully we will be the best in this field so uh, if you wish to join the Extreme Trader Premium Signals group, please don't hesitate to contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you all there soon. So let's now start again with the midweek analysis and let's continue analyzing the market to see where we can expect uh, the next uh, trade to happen. As we can see, thankfully, my signal for the Euro USD on the weekly analysis video has worked perfectly fine and the trade has been activated exactly on the level I gave and the candles recently touched the take profit level. So those of you who have, who have joined this free signal, you have you should have gotten about 115 pips of profit. So now what's next on the next on the Euro USD? Now if I'm not mistaken, the Euro USD is actually going to continue the rise. However, uh, we just need to wait for the right moment to start uh, buying the Euro USD again. And I think if we apply the trend lines here like that, we can expect from the Euro USD exactly to reverse right on this level of 23.6 of Fibonacci. However, I'm just gonna to be safe and give valid signal. I'm gonna uh, increase it a little bit like that. So we can enter like 10 pips uh, before the signal is gonna be active. So this is where we can start again buying the Euro USD on the level 1.08696. Uh, what I believe this is going to happen that the Euro USD actually is going to make a small bounce right here and we can see that we are having here this support level along with this support right here so this support which was here also a strong resistance and it is Fibonacci 23.6 most likely the pair is actually going to continue the rise and hopefully we are going to reach the 61.8 of Fibonacci therefore this is actually going to be your take profit level on 61.8 and therefore this is the take profit here on uh, 1.09974 so we are looking for approximately of 130 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all <coughs> let's now continue to the pound USD the pound USD is also similar uh, the signal has been activated perfectly fine however we just had here a small pin bar which has been I think uh, almost 60 pips if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken yeah, almost 72 pips and then finally the pair, the pair has reversed and the pair went exactly to hit my take profit level. So those who have joined the signal have got approximately 130 pips of profit. Now, what is the next step? Very similar to the, to the Euro USD. Most likely the pair is going to continue the rise. If I'm not mistaken, this is the 4 hour chart. Let's go to the 1 hour chart. <coughs> Now, let me just give you the perfect level to start buying the pair again. Since we are having right here, right here we're having a support number one, we can expect from the pair to actually reverse right on support number two. However, however, please be careful because once the trade actually, or the signal, or sorry, the market reach this level, this is gonna be our buy entry. However, once the market reaches this level, there is a small opportunity or chance that the market might reverse a little bit more down to hit this previous support level. And from that point, the market is going to continue the rising again. Most likely, the, Euro, the pound USD is actually going to continue. Let's check the daily candles. And on the daily, let me get rid of that. All of these lines, they are annoying. 
Um, just a second, my friends. Just trying to get rid of this line. Okay, good. So looking at the daily candles and this price action, it's indicating most likely that the pair is going to continue the rise all the way until it hit this previous resistance level right here. So uh, pound the USD is again good for the buy. However, let me just select for you where we can start buying the pair. Go back to the one hour chart. And most likely it's going to happen somewhere here. Let me just be sure like that. Yes, perfect. That is going to be actually a perfect entry. So we can start buying the pound USD on the level 1.22827. And again, as I mentioned to you, it might actually fall a little bit more down to hit this previous support level right here. Uh, so we can expect a fall of almost like 28 pips. And then we can keep the trade running all the way for almost 170 pips. Hopefully we are going to reach this point. And uh, this is your take profit level. Take profit on 1.2, sorry, 1.2435. Nine. Let's check now the AUD USD. So the AUD USD, we can see that the pair rec recently has reversed from this resistance. By the way, um, my signal was for the buy on the AUD USD. However, we can see that the pair has started the reverse immediately before reaching my buy entry level, which is sad actually. So we have missed a chance because the pair kept going for almost 200 pips uh, and almost reached the take profit level. If only it was given on the right level, however. So uh, we can see that the AUD USD has reversed from this resistance zone, as we can see right here. So now what is the next move from the AUD USD? However, I believe the AUD USD is going to continue the fall all the way until it hit this previous resist uh, support level right here. Uh, this price action indicating a strong uh, level, a uh, strength in the level, sorry, on the resistance. And therefore, we can expect from the pair to actually continue the fall. Uh, this price action indicating a continuation in the falling or in the uh, bearish reversal pattern. And then we are having here very strong support level, actually. Most likely this support along with this support, they are going to keep their position as a support. And therefore, that is actually going to be the perfect level to start buying the AUD USD again. So we are like 81 pips far away. If you want to start shorting the AUD USD, you can do that. However, I highly recommend or highly suggest actually that you wait to see any small bounce right here. So you can start selling the AUD USD at the top of this resistance level. So uh, actually are going to have two signals for the AUD USD. Uh, if the candle actually make a small bounce right here and reverse to hit this previous resistance, we can start shorting the AUD USD right on this level. And you can keep your trade running all the way until the pair hit this previous support level. So this support is going to be a support again. And from that point, we can start buying again. So what we are having right now is two signals. One is for the sell, other one is for the buy. Let me start with the one for the sell is on 0 0.61829. And that is only if you see the pair reversing and hit that uh, resistance level right here. Hopefully this video will be released quickly before uh, this happens. And uh, the next one is going to be the buy on 0 0.60900. So, of course, no need to mention that this, the level of the buy is also your take profit in case you have placed your sell order. And if you place your buy order, your take profit level is going to be also the same level of the sell. <coughs> Let's check right now the USD GPY. USD GPY signal um, kind of activated because the market is uh, immediately opened on the level where I given the signal to start the buy. Let me just be sure. If it was the same candle, yes, yes, on 6th April, correct. So the signal was uh, very accurate and you can see the market has opened right on the signal. So if you have opened this trade on Monday early morning when the market has opened, uh, you can, if you have entered the signal, you might have gotten away with almost 90 pips of profit. And the, as we can see, take profit level has been reached. Now, what's next for the USD GPY? 
As we can see, the USD GPY is very similar to the AUD USD. We can see that the pair is now ranging on this previous resistance. So the pair has actually reversed. And let me just be sure uh, if the pair, how far the pair is gonna actually falling. Uh, just to save your time, guys, let me just do some analysis and I'll be back to you shortly. Okay, my friends, so if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is gonna be the best level to start again buying the AUD USD exactly on the level actually this is where we gave the signal uh, on the weekly analysis video we can see that the pair has actually reached this level of the resistance that was our tech profit level therefore actually i don't think it's going to be logic at all to give a signal for the buy because the market actually uh, has reversed exactly from that entry level however what i believe is the market if i'm not mistaken let me just be sure again I just want to give you the, exactly the finest level to start uh, buying the AUD USD because I believe it's gonna go up. However, that might not happen right now. Okay, I think I'm. I, I think my analysis is correct. We just need to wait for the pair to actually hit the tech, uh, the support number two. So the the midweek analysis uh, signal for the USD GPY is gonna be very similar to the to the weekly analysis ones. So the same level here because as we can see we are having right here a resistance. Let me just show you that. As we can see we are having right here a resistance. And the pair seems to be not able to actually break out from that resistance for so long time. However, what I am seeing from my point of view that we are having right here a resistance trend line and the pair has finally broken out from this resistance trend line therefore we can expect from the pair to actually fall down all the way to retest that level so most likely the usd gpy is right now falling so if you started the you can start actually shorting the usd gpy right now um most likely you will just be maximum in 25 pips of loss however most likely if we look at the daily candles we can see that the pair is actually reversing and seems like it's gonna fall down to retest that broken resistance trend line. This is the four hour chart as we can see. And yes, it is accurate. That's a good one. So definitely yes, the USD GPY is gonna fall to retest the broken trend line. So actually, let me tell you something. You can start shorting the USD GPY right away. Uh, as far as we are inside this uh, resistance zone. So we can start sell now for the uh, USD GPY. Again, by the time I release this video, if you see the pair actually, or this candle has went down below this support, below this resistance zone, please cancel this signal. This signal is only valid uh, as, as long as the pair is trapped inside this resistance zone, which I have done right here. And of course, uh, your tech profit level is gonna be exactly where we started this week. So this is tech profit level on 108.255. Then from that point, I believe we can start again buying the pair. However, we just need to wait to see the price action indicating that the pair is not gonna break out from the support level and went all the way and go all the way down to the support level right here. Therefore, the signal is gonna be only for the sell as long as the pair now is in the retest level uh, mode for this uh, broken resistance trend line. Let's check right now the USD CAD. USD CAD signal has also been worked perfectly. We can see that the pair has touched or kissed our uh, sell uh, level. And finally, uh, the pair went down all the way to hit the tech profit level. So indeed, it was actually a very good signal. We can see that those who have entered the signal have gotten approximately 233 pips of profit. Hopefully you guys have uh, entertained these pips. So let me now get rid of all of that. Now what we can see right now, actually we can see that there is a, a support trend line has been breaking out right here. Most likely what we're gonna happen now on the USD CAD, the pair is actually gonna retest this broken resist uh, support trend line. And if I'm not mistaken, we can expect from this resistance right here, right here, which was also a previous support to keep its position as a, a previous resistance. This one right here, we can see that this level, let me just uh, delete it for you. Let me just uh, make it clear, more clear, exactly like that. 
as we can see this previous resistance has become later a previous support that support and the support trend line has been finally breaking out therefore we can expect from the market to go the, uh, up all the way here and then that previous resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance and the pair is actually gonna continue the falling therefore let me just give you the best level to start shorting the USD CAD again just uh, to be sure I'm giving the most accurate level uh, that should be fine if I'm not mistaken on the level we can start short the USD CAD on one on zero uh, one point uh, four zero double six eight hopefully the pair is gonna reach that level and it's gonna be actually a really good level to start shorting the USD CAD we can expect from the pair to actually continue falling all the way until hit this previous support level right here so we are talking about approximately 214 pips of profit so this is your take profit on 1.38496 so hopefully the pair is gonna be loyal and it's gonna actually fall to hit this uh, level let's check right now the USDCHF uh, USDCHF signal uh, seems like it's not working I sent the buy signal exactly on this level we can see that the pair is actually breaking out from this support level so that support hasn't been respected and as we can see right here we can see that the market has completely broken out from this uh, support level so once you see the candle like that on the 4 hour chart you should immediately close your trade with the loss because this is obviously a breakout candle from that support level so now where can you expect the next reversal to occur then let me tell you something we can expect from the pair to actually start reversing let me just be sure before giving the signal exactly right here yes perfect so we can expect from the pair to continue falling all the way so this support number one is gonna keep its position as a support number two then from that point we can start buying the USDCHF and hopefully we can close the trade with a profit right on this previous support level right here uh, I don't think the pair is gonna continue uh, rising above this resistance level that's why I'm giving the take profit level below this uh, support below this resistance sorry so let's adjust the buy order to be on 0 0.96 590 and keep your trade running until it hit this previous support level right here <coughs> sorry about that so for almost 91 pips hopefully gonna be in good profit this is, this is your take profit on 0 0.97490 that's fantastic I think this is gonna be a really good signal and as we can see also we are having a support level right here uh, which is hopefully gonna keep its position as a support since we are having here a support number one we can expect from this pair to respect this level uh, since it's really strong uh, it was a key support level therefore we can expect from it to keep its position to be played as a support number two let's check now the gold the gold did not reach my buy entry I, if I'm not mistaken yes I give it a signal right here on the level 1600.26 however uh, the gold uh, on Monday opening just continued the rise immediately without entering or touching my uh, buy signal so now what is next from the gold the gold actually reversing as you can see we're having a strong resistance level right here and that resistance hasn't been broken out yet we can see the pair uh, the gold uh, desperately tried to break out from that resistance however it has eventually failed therefore what will gonna happen next uh, I think it's gonna be hard to give signal for the gold now because the entry is gonna be really way too late uh, that was actually have been the perfect level to start shorting the gold right here that is exactly well let me just uh, in hope for another reversal give the signal that we can start short the gold on one uh, sorry 1657.81 hopefully the pair gonna make another uh, last attempt on that resistance level uh, before actually started uh, the bearish reversal but uh, to be honest with you guys please please be extra careful and wise because nowadays the gold is ranging so much look at that 
all of that consolidation mode and that resistance level that is actually one of the reasons why this uh, for the last two weeks i did not release any uh, gold uh, gold scalping uh, video because the gold nowadays is very sensitive actually look at that that is not the kind of uh, the market that I really want to, to scalp, especially on the one minute candles. These ranging candles are actually scary. They are dangerous for the scalper and therefore we usually avoid them. That's why I'm telling you this for the past two weeks. I never really uh, released any uh, video for scalping the gold on the one minute chart and I highly advise you to avoid it also. Gold is only good for the swing trades and for long term trades. Uh, for those uh, who planning to trade with uh, uh, big amounts actually if you are a small trader with a small account then I highly suggest you to avoid the gold nowadays because as you can see the market is ranging so much I mean even if you place your sell order right here which seems to be a perfect entry the market has went for almost 120 pips against you then immediately went back in profit then again went for 125 pips against you and therefore and so on and so on so uh you know something i need also to adjust my cell area my, my cell uh, signal to make it actually i just want everyone to be safe i don't want anyone to lose any money because of me therefore i have adjusted the signal uh, for the short to be on that on the top of the resistance on 1667.09 that should be actually a more safe level for entering the, uh, to sell the gold and then if I'm not mistaken, the gold is going to continue falling all the way until it hit this previous resistance levels right here. That is on the long, long term. So after that, we really need to see any price action indicating a reversal or a breakout from the support level. However, if you want to place uh, the trade and earn some good money and pips from this one, uh, the best option is the short but however, we just have to be sure we are shorting the gold at the safest level possible to avoid any uh, unnecessary loss. So take profit level is going to be on 1626.53. Let me now release this video very quickly. So hopefully you guys can catch these signals. Uh, in the end, I really hope uh, this is going to continue to be a very good week for everyone. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.